Hello and welcome to the channel WebDevPy and in this tutorial we are going to create this animated triangle from my intro and we will also add additional effects. So let's get started. Ok, so firstly I will create container for SVG. I will add triangle SVG class and inside of it SVG element. I will set with height view box parameters And inside of SVG element I will create polygon with transparent background, line color blue, I will set stroke width and 6 points to draw the triangle. Ok, so we have finished it with HTML, we have set 6 points to draw the triangle using polygon. And now let's work on CSS. So I will set background color to black, I will center the triangle using flexbox, also will set height and width for body, overflow hidden to hide the scroll bar and margin 0. Ok, so we have centered triangle and now let's stylize the SVG. Also I will add to the SVG drop shadow effect. The difference between box shadow and drop shadow is that drop shadow we can add to different shapes, but box shadow we can add only to statics blocks that have squared shape. So yes, and on the next step let's add animation to the polygon element. So I want to make the animation like in my intro, so I want to make a gap. And to make this gap we need to add the stroke dash array property. Let's also set the animation. Let's use keyframes. So this property defines an offset on the rendering. And let's apply it. And it works. But I want to set it to different direction. As I have in my intro. And with this reverse property will help us. So now it's very similar to my intro. But I want to set a different stroke dash array and change it on each step. So with this we need to use javascript or jQuery and on each step we can change the stroke dash array using set timeouts. And before we do that let's comment the stroke dash array. So to implement our animation I will use function animate dash array. The parameters that I want to add is iteration. So firstly let's set stroke dash array to 50. And on the next step I will use set timeouts to make more gaps on the triangle. So after 1.5 seconds I will set stroke dash rate to 25. And after 3 seconds I will set stroke dash rate to 2. So we will have just the small lines and many gaps between them. Also after first iteration I will set iter plus plus. So we will increase iteration after each step. So I also want to make function infinite. So for this I will set condition, uh, so if iteration equals 1, then I will set iteration to 0 back. So it means the first iteration will be repeated every time and our animation will work correctly. And also after every iteration I will set set timeout to call the function each time. So after patch is uploaded, we will call the animate dash ray function. We will set iteration to zero. And each time after the animation is finished, we will increase the iteration. So I will use recursive function for this. And therefore we will have the animation repeated each time. And we will check every time whether the iteration is one or zero. And it works as expected. So we have just implemented three different dash arrays in one animation. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and welcome to my next tutorials.